Hello, my name is Erica Karuder, and I'm an educational consultant on the Mathematics Initiative at Patton Harrisburg. I created this short video resource to help you as you're supporting children with their math work. This video is going to focus on the importance of math vocabulary, as well as a few helpful resources you can find for free online to give you some support 24 hours a day. Think about this statement. Mathematics is a language. Do you think that's true? Or do you think that statement is false? Have you thought of your answer? Well, if you guess true, that's correct. Mathematics is a language and it should be taught just as a language is taught. There are a lot of different terms in mathematics that we need to be able to understand. We need to be able to teach them. We need to be able to speak the language of mathematics. Sometimes this can be a little bit difficult, but we're going to review some resources that can make this much easier. So think about these words when we think about mathematics as a language. Think about the word mean. That has several definitions. It could indicate or suggest something. It could refer to the fact that someone is behaving in an unkind way. Or when we think about mathematics, it could be the statistical average. How about this next term, plain? Take a minute and think of some definitions of plain. Have you thought of some? Well, plain could refer to an aircraft that flies in the sky or it could refer to a, a flat surface. Here's another one, how about product? Can you think of some different definitions for the vocabulary word product? Let's talk about a couple. Product could be merchandise, it could be an item we consume, or it could be multiplying the result of multiplying numbers for example, 10 is the product of the factors of two and five. And finally, think about this word, function. Have you thought of some definitions? Well, a function could be a party or a gathering. It could also mean a job or a purpose. Or when we think about algebra, it's a relation from a set of inputs to a set of outputs where each input is related to exactly one of those outputs. It's a lot of different meanings for these words. So it's important to have a good understanding of what they mean when we're thinking about the language of mathematics. So when we think about math as a language, what does it mean to acquire a language? Well, when we acquire a new language, we are learning and understanding those basic symbols sounds and vocabulary of that language. As you can see in the previous slide, math has a vocabulary all of its own. And some terms that we know in other contexts have a totally different meaning in mathematics. So what about math as a language? We do often have vocabulary terms in our math textbooks. However, traditional books often don't adequately prepare students to learn math vocabulary other than to be able to read and memorize. We need to help children learn the language of mathematics. When we think about why is math vocabulary important as students are learning math skills, this is one of the skills necessary to really help kids become proficient with mathematics. Students are asked to verbalize their thinking about problem solving. They're asked to read word problems and understand what those mean. They may complete journal entries, write responses to open-ended questions, and be able to explain the process of their problem solving. So students need a good, strong math vocabulary to be able to do all of those things. They need to be able to be fluent in the language of math as well as use accurate math vocabulary to understand, hear, read, think, and write mathematically. Just like if we were learning a foreign language for another country, we need to be able to be fluent, to be able to understand, 
hear, read, think, and write. So when we think about math vocabulary, it really is an anchor uh, to help students with these different tasks. Again, verbalizing, they need to be able to talk about their thinking when they're solving problems. They need to be able to listen and understand mathematically. And being able to do that means they need to understand the vocabulary terms. They need to be able to read. Math isn't just solving computation problems. We need computation skills. However, we also need to be able to read and understand what operation we're being asked to perform, if we're asked to determine a relationship between numbers. So we need to be able to read and understand those terms. And finally, as we help students, students need to be able to write mathematically. So writing the terms, writing the symbols, all of these really are uh, supported by a strong math vocabulary. So understanding that math vocabulary is important, what we're going to do next is I'm going to take you online to a couple helpful resources that you could use at home in the classroom to help students learn and improve math vocabulary skills. The first one is from the Virginia Department of Education. There are some math vocabulary cards. I'll take you out to that site and show you what it looks like. The second one is a very helpful site as well. It's from Granite Schools in Colorado. Again, there are some math vocabulary cards. You'll see that they have definitions, pictorial representations of what the concept looks like, and there are options to get the cards in English, Spanish, French, and Chinese. Finally, we have Pennsylvania's Mathematics Glossary for the PSSA. So let's go out and check out these websites. So the first one is the Virginia Department of Education Mathematics Vocabulary. All of these sites are easy to find if you just do a quick internet search using Google. If you type Virginia Department of Ed Math Vocabulary Cards, you'll see this option pop up. So you can see in here that there are different word wall cards. So you can think about the grade of student that you're working with. So let's pick grade three. You can download it as a Word file, save it and print it, or it's available as a PDF. So on each of these word wall cards, you can see the table of contents. So you can kind of do a quick scan and see, you know, what, what words do we really need to work on? What ones does it seem that, um, you know, my student or my child is having difficulty with? So you can look in the table of contents and then you can see as you go through each one includes a pictorial representation of what that definition might look like. It has multiple ways to represent that. So this is one helpful website. The next one I'll take you to is the Granite Schools vocabulary cards and this is Granite School District out of Colorado. They have a really nice website set up um, with math vocabulary cards and these include even more detail. The other thing about the Granite School cards is if you need those, you can click on the dual immersion cards and you can select the vocabulary cards in other languages. So you can see here, we'll take another third grade example. Um, this is aligned to the Common Core Standards you can pull up the vocabulary word list and it will give you an alphabetical order all of the different cards that are included in that grade level. So you look for the words you want to find and then you can go back. Okay, so I'm going to look for the word add end. So you can see on each card it has the term, it has it in an example, and then it includes the word the example, and a definition. So you can kind of scaffold these or provide different levels of support. As students are really learning the terms, you can start with the bottom row. You know, this is an add-in, these are some examples, helping students visualize what that means rather than just memorizing the word and the definition is very helpful. 
And then there's a definition, an add end, any number being added. And you can see the three add ends are highlighted in blue. The final resource is a Pennsylvania resource, and it is the PSSA Math Glossary. So this starts with third grade terms, um, and you can go through in alphabetical order. So here's the term. It includes a definition, and then it also includes some grade levels in which students might be seeing these terms. Again, for any of these three websites, all that you need to do is use your Google search, have the websites in the video if you'd like to go back there, do a Google search. For the first one, use search terms Virginia Department of Education, Math Vocabulary. For the second one, Granite, G-R-A-N-I-T-E, Schools, Math Vocabulary Cards, that'll pop right up. And the third one, PSSA Mathematics Glossary, and you should be able to easily find those. I hope that you found some resources helpful and enjoy working on math vocabulary.